morning, everyone. Bill Hurtado with Transwest Truck Trailer RV. You might notice I got a little smile on my face. That's because this is one of my all-time favorite motorhomes right here. I love this thing. Thor started building the Vegas in 2014, and they started with model 24.1. Over the years, they've had several different models in larger sizes, but the 24 one is the only model that has survived every single year and always been the top seller. Hopefully, I'll be able to explain to you why that is. There's a lot of things I really love on this motorhome right here. And I wanna start up front and talk a little bit about this, how it's different than so many other, let's say small class A's that you've seen on the market. First of all, this is a total length of uh, 25 foot, eight inches. So as some of you know, I've always alluded to the fact that national parks have a 30 foot limit, but many of those have dropped down to a 26 foot limit. This is one of the only class A's you can take into those national parks. So no restrictions for you size wise on this one. There's some things unique to the Vegas, and one in particular is going to be it's a 94 inch width on here. That's important because when you're driving this thing down the highway, you're not encroaching that space so much. You've, you can see in your mirror, you can stay centered a little bit better. Uh, it's really nice to drive. Excellent visibility with this thing. With the huge windshield, Side windows, basically the same size. You have an excellent 270 degree view out of this thing. So very, very nice in that regard. Another unique feature on the Vegas is that this is actually on a class C chassis. So you've got the benefit of the twin I-beam front suspension right there, which makes it very nice. But look what they've done. They've done some really incredible things here. So if you're looking straight onto this thing right here, you'll notice that this front end actually tapers, tapers back and then becomes your 94 inch width right there. So it's a bit of a V shape going into the wind this direction. That coupled with the rounded aerodynamic front end right here really handles the wind well, improves fuel mileage, Unlike a typical Class C that has that cab over bunk up above, you're not scooping the wind and fighting that the whole time. Uh, it's absolute joy to drive. Another thing that's uh, happened because this is a 22 model, this has the new 7.3 liter Goliath Ford engine. The 6.8 liter V10 uh, ended in 2020 and in 21, the Goliath came to be. So it's gone from 310 horsepower, which way back in 97, the V10 started at 275, but made its way up to 310. Now we're at 350 and 468 pound-feet of torque. This is a very light motorhome. Unloaded vehicle weight right now sits at 10,900. It's so funny, this reminds me a lot of when I got my first fuel-injected snowmobile. I put the PSI pipes on and the plastic skis and how responsive it was. I could do wheelies with the thing. And that's how I feel in this thing. It just takes off like, like nobody's business. Lots of power, so much fun to drive. Uh, I hope you take the time to call me. Let's set up a time to get together. Let's take this out on the road. You'll be very, very impressed. So back to the fact that we're on a 24.1 floor plan here. Some of the reasons that uh, this is really the best floor plan, um, not just the length. You know, the length we talked about the national parks, but this also fits in a lot of driveways. People keep it at home, keep it alongside their house. The narrower width makes it easy to get into tighter spots. Uh, that's a really nice setup on this one, and I'll tell you, it just gets better and better. So, Thor's made a lot of improvements on this thing since 2014, and I'm really impressed. Uh, I don't know exactly, but I've probably sold 
50 of these over the years. Uh, I, was, I was blown away in 2014 when they first came out and every year it just gets a little bit better. So this as a recent trade-in is a good opportunity for you to make a great deal on a fairly new motorhome right here. 9,500 miles on, almost 9,600 miles on it. Uh, so lots of chassis warranty left on this thing. We're gonna go inside after we do a little walk around here. But while I was here, I wanted to point out that you don't have an electric step moving on this all the time. Your body molds down so the step is in a nice position, very easy to get in and out. You've got rotocast compartments on this side. I've talked about those before. Rotocast by definition means one piece, and those are very strong, 400 pound capacity in the rotocast compartments there. So that's very nice. Pretty standard with your refrigerator, furnace, and water heater. Kind of the same equipment we've seen over the years for a long time. Uh, each individual manufacturer of those, just like the Vegas, they tend to get a little bit better and better all the time. This is an outdoor barbecue hookup or for propane and propane accessories. Okay, so just about anything you want to put out here. I've seen a, a thing they just came out with recently is an oven that sits out here on a tabletop. That's a great idea. You do have your, your microwave convection combo inside, but there's a lot of people that still prefer that gas oven. And well, I'm one of them. I like that a lot myself. Okay. The irony, if you will, of the 24.1 is it actually has the second most outdoor storage space of every model they've ever made. I believe it's 68 cubic feet on this. And one of the big reasons is the way the floor plan is configured, you have your full pass-through storage outside here with three entry points. So a lot of stuff can go in this thing and nothing's buried far away that you have to reach for. So everything's easily accessible. I opened up a couple windows just to show you that these are the frameless windows. Um, they're a nice dark tint. And when these are closed up, you've got no exposed rubber on this thing. So these have been out oh, eight, nine years or so. Um, and they're just fantastic. Uh, they're Imagine the other side. Of course, you've got that open over there without the awning being out. You can have those open when it's raining right there. Uh, you still get nice ventilation through the thing. So I'm a big fan of the frameless windows. All right. This has an 8,000 pound hitch on it right now. And I'll tell you, it'll do it. Uh, you'll agree with me when you come and drive this thing with me. Uh, the power that this has. Also has the seven way plug down there, which you can always adapt down from to tow anything you want. And then all LED lighting inside and out. Uh, we know the story behind LED lighting, how yes, they draw about a sixth the amount of power of incandescence, but typically those have about a 50 year lifespan. So 50 years from now, when this thing goes out, you know, hopefully you guys will watch this video and see that I was right. All right, 4,000 watt generator on this. I looked just before I started the video, this has 25 hours on it right now. So that's very fresh. Uh, that still has the remainder of the three year unlimited hour warranty on that. So there's lots of warranty left on the generator as well as the chassis. Class C's come with a 55 gallon fuel tank. Okay, so that's really good there. Uh, you do have the black tank flush out. A lot of you have heard me talk about that, how important that is. And I'll just explain one more time that I like where the industry has gone with their accessories for RVs. And one of the big ones is the sewer hoses are so much better than they used to be. You can crush them and they bounce right back. You can drag them on the pavement. They don't get holes in them very easily. But the big thing is that a lot of those sewer hoses now have a short section of clear on them. 
So when you're dumping your tank there, your black tank, and you're hooked up to water right here, it's spraying inside the tank. You can watch that short section of clear. When you see it come through clean, then you know your tank is all sprayed out. So much more sanitary that way. This does have a 30 amp shore cord, uh, 30 foot, 30 amp shore cord on it. Uh, so that's stored inside. It's gonna stay nice, bring it out, hook it up when you want to. And then you've also got cable TV slash satellite hookup out here. If you're uh, finding yourself in an area where you're maybe under a lot of trees, you're away from an opening to the sky, you can have a satellite dish that just sets on the ground outside. So that'll go just about anywhere you want it to. Hooks up right there, goes into the area inside, which I'll show you here pretty soon. You do have hot and cold running water outside. And of course, this is your city water connection when you're at the campsite. So unlimited water inside. Not much to see in this compartment. That's basically just access to where your holding tanks are down there. Um, moving up this way, when this slide is in, this is a magnetic catch for this compartment right here, which is where your dump is. And your hose will come up through the bottom, connect to there, and then head out to your termination point. In addition to that, right over here, you've got your propane tank. We always know that's a propane door because no lock. You can walk up to any of any RV and walk around and say, no, there's the door with no locks, that's gotta be propane. This is indicative of how this entire unit is. It has virtually no wear on this thing anywhere. Even the bedding hasn't been taken out of the uh, plastic wrap. We'll, we'll see that when we go inside. Um, not sure what the previous owner used this for, but they didn't use it much. Everything just looks brand new on it. This section up here has some electronics for the awning and the chassis, but again, a nice rotocast compartment that you can store a lot of stuff in. All right, just little things I keep noticing. You know, like the, uh, the side cameras right here. They put these rubber boots around those things. So it helps keep that camera a lot cleaner when you're traveling. Um, you're not gonna have the spotty thing on the screen, you know, or just a dull film that builds up on that. So that's really nice. Just attention to a little detail. I like what they've done. You may notice these LED strips down here are on right now. That's because I have the key on in this thing. Uh, I wanted to walk in and show you the, the big backup camera that's on this thing, which is also integrated in with those side cameras uh, with your turn signal. Easy open hood. When you're looking in there, just some things that, you know, I know, uh, GM doesn't make chassis for RVs anymore, I get that. But Ford has dominated the market and take it over because of little things that they do, like your transmission cooler and your air conditioning condenser, your radiator, uh, your oil cooler. They're all separated with space right there. So no residual heat feedback from one to the other. Everything stays much cooler that way. Simple design, but Ford's the only one that actually did it. So kudos to them. Otherwise, you've got your standard stuff up in the front right here that's easy to get to. Uh, your, your brake fluid, your coolant reservoir, your oil fill and check, so on and so forth. So nice and easy there. All right. The inside. I'm going to like this. I hope you do too. When we look inside the doorway right here, you're gonna notice that you do have solar up on top of this. Um, I haven't confirmed it, but it looks to me like a 100 watt panel. However, that controller looks to me like a uh, 10 amp. So you can, you can add more solar to this if you want without having to change the controller out. 
You've got a full house battery disconnect right under that. And an AC outlet, which of course is gonna be easy to get to because the galley extension here has not encroached that space. So very nice. All right. So remember, we got a 94 inch width here. So everything's kind of tight in here, but still lots of room with that slide out right there. I'm gonna move back here to the back and I wanna show you this twin bed setup is my personal favorite. And for a couple of reasons. One, here I am. I can stand here in the bedroom, I can get dressed, I can sit down easily. But even more importantly, with a twin bed setup, you get overhead cabinets all the way around. You notice the accent lighting in here, and that's in a couple places up in the living area as well. So they've done really well with that. From inside here, I have a large television. Looks to me like, I think that's gotta be a 32. And then we have USB ports on each side. We've got AC hookups over here. We've got a remote control for our attic fan up above. And then extra drawer space down below here. Can fill this center section in and that'll give you a king size bed back here if you so desire. Like I said, the, the bedding, the pillows, doesn't look like they've been taken out of the plastic yet. So this thing is just amazing. It's so clean and fresh. It looks brand new. All right. So that being said, I'm gonna kind of work my way forward here a little bit. This is gonna be the tough part because this has a unique bathroom on it. Um, these are two doors that open up this way. So there's a corner shower, there's a porcelain toilet, there's overhead storage in two places, and I am going to step out of the way and let you guys take a look at that. When, those, when both those doors are open, now you've got a room with good privacy and plenty of space for you to get dressed and uh, just use the bathroom the way you would all the way you've always done it your whole life you need some space to move around so again the ironic thing to me is you've got the smallest motor home and one of the biggest bathrooms there's a good sized closet over here and that closet uh, stores your table legs and there's a nice fold up ladder that extends up tink 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 for what I'm going to show you up front on this. There's a small oval table that goes between the two front chairs, the captain's chairs. So again, generous space right there. Nice deep drawers. Okay. The uh, refrigerator on this thing is very nice. It's got the black plexiglass panels on it. So it's a very good contrast with the rest of the light interior, which I have to be honest, this is the first time I've ever seen a light, very trendy interior on a Vegas. So again, I like where they're going. They're, they're up with the times. It's very modern looking in here. You do have a nice two burner cooktop with the flush mount cover. You have a huge sink. Again, I'm a big fan of the round sink because, well, I eat on round dishes. So when I need to hide those things and do them later, this is kind of nice. Also, if you're not using the sink, you got great workspace up here. Pretty nice setup with the amount of drawer space you have. And then get some of your pots in there. All right, so looking down at the floor right here, you'll see those two uh, table leg attachments. So behind the sofa right here is a nice big table that covers the entire front of this thing. Uh, those legs are stored in the closet. You saw those just a minute ago. So easy access to pull that out, set your table legs up. These are the type of table legs that 
insert and twist. So they're really tight. They don't wobble on you. So that's a, another nice feature that the industry's gone to. I didn't show you in the galley over here, but it's the same as this in respect to the fact that these are lighted when the accent lights are on. So it's really kind of nice, you know, lighted cabinets right there. And I'm a big fan of accent lights. When you're traveling down the road and you have just those on, the co-pilot can get up, come back here, see everything just fine, but those lights don't interfere with the pilot on this one. Uh, so nice way to travel down the road. This is a trifold sofa. So basically these cushions come off the back. This section cantilevers up this way sets down and then the back flips down and it makes a really nice big bed slightly over full size slightly under queen size okay so it's a lot to talk about up here um, this has a bm pro control panel and the control panel will handle all of your lighting your generator start and stop your tank levels your jacks, this has, this has two independent jacks in the back that'll give you side to side movement. And also if you're a little low in the back, it'll give you a little bit of lift. So that's kind of nice, but I'm gonna operate this BM Pro up here so I can show you some of the other features in this thing. So right now I'm in the home screen and I can easily see what my tank levels are. Um, I know my lights are on right here and I can turn all of them off or all of them on from one spot right there, except the accent lights. Those are on separate switches. I can operate my water pump and I can change my temperature on the uh, uh, climate, be it the furnace or air conditioning. Moving down over here, this is a, another section that's going to show you what your tank levels are. And then we have gas and electric on the water heater. And this also has tank heaters if you're traveling in the winter time. Those are very nice to have. This is going to operate your slide rooms, your stabilizer jacks, and your awning. Now, I can also do a lot of that from down here below. So it's two different areas you can do this. These switches, of course, are just push button, where this up here, uh, there's an app you can download and then Bluetooth your telephone to this so you can operate all these features from your phone as well. All right, climate wise, of course, I can set my furnace and air conditioning uh, to the temperatures that I so desire. And then my lights in here, this is a new thing that the Vegas has come out with. Um, this light right up here, for example, all of these are dimmable. So I can bring those down because they're kind of bright, full on power. But that's a new thing that I have not seen yet. And then uh, got my voltages right here and my LP tank level. So I know what my uh, power and propane is right now. Um, I can start and stop my generator from here or over on the dash. And then there's attic fans, one in the living room here and one in the bedroom back there. So you can turn those on and off from here as well. So remember, you've Bluetooth this to your phone. Now you can be laying in bed and you can do all these things I just mentioned right here. Um, the individual lighting works from these buttons right here, except for, like I said, the uh, accent lighting. Those are on switches right here. And then uh, this is kind of nice. Now I don't have the key on right now, but so i can't do everything but let's say this is the awning a1 and then b1 i'm going to come back to that jack one and jack two those are left and right jacks in the rear back there and then the slide out operates from here as well so let's go back to b1 and i'm going to show you what's up front right here on this 24.1 that is really nice most people don't see this, but it's actually a really nice bed that drops down right here. And let's see, I got the brakes set. 
I don't remember if I have to have key off. So I don't have the seats reclined all the way back right now, but this bed will come down pretty far right here. That fold up ladder or rather retractable ladder that you saw in the closet right there will attach over here. So I'll stop right about there. So it's a nice single bed, easy access, got the netting so kids don't fall out the other direction. But some people will use this for storage. Take the mattress out, leave it at home. You've got great storage up in here for a lot of different things. If you want those just kind of out of the way, maybe it's extra bedding, maybe it's, well, all kinds of things. Just um, use your imagination there. So very, very nice feature. This does not have to be all the way up. If you're storing something in here that's a little bit taller, you know, we can still stop this just about anywhere we want. We've still got the 250 pound capacity and I can still drive just fine. So multi-function on that right there. I talked a little bit about visibility and that's inherent with just about every class A on the market, but not with class C's. Class C's, not only do you sit low to where you can't see past that car in front of you, but you've also got a very uh, tight windows and windshield going all the way around. Obviously you can see you know, fairly well, but nothing like this. This, sorry, I have the hood up still. But this is so fantastic because you've got these huge windows on the sides, the huge window up front, and this excellent 270 degree view going around this thing. Another nice thing that I really like on the Vegas is what I call the co-pilot workstation. And maybe Thor calls it that too. Maybe that's where I picked it up. But this is so nice. This flips over. This not only gives you a place to eat, but you can work on your computer. You have AC and DC hookups on the sides. So a nice another little area to put stuff. All right, I'm gonna go back to key on because I wanted to show you how cool this backup camera is. We're looking at a really wide stance right here. Uh, so excellent visibility but you'll get used to this. This is the back of the motorhome right here. That's the bumper down there. So really it's easy for you to back right up to something and get inches away. You never have to turn your head. You don't have to look in the side mirrors. You know exactly what's going on back there. And if we're traveling down the freeway and you have this on, obviously you can see quite a ways away. So that's, I'm sure, more than a football field away right there. So great camera. I really, really like it. They've done so well with that. All right. When we're looking up front right here, I've always been a big fan of Class A's, how they've evolved over the years, because I've been in a lot of situations where you're driving east early in the morning or you're driving west late in the day and that sun is just right there. Well, I've had to just pull over and wait it out because it was just too much. This has a really nice shade, full width right here. That comes down, blocks that sun, I continue on. When you're parked, you can bring this thing all the way down and then your side curtains come in and close up against that. So very easy to close this off and get your privacy in here. Ninety-five, ninety-eight. Like I was saying, just under 9,600 miles right now. Um, very easy view. They've got all digital, you know, 
digital-esque, if you will. Still analog gauges, but you know, the way everything lights up so nice, it's just wonderful. And you can dim, of course, on that. Uh, very easy controls here on your, on your uh, cruise control. You can manually shift with this thing. And then the tow haul mode. So tow haul mode, for those of you that don't know, in the old days, this button out here read overdrive. And now what tow haul mode does, it's much more sophisticated. So it will not only change your shift points so that your RPMs stay in that power band much better when you're towing something, but I have kind of renamed this. Uh, I call it a reverse cruise control. And what I mean by that is, I'm coming down the mountain, like Genesee we have nearby here is a 6% grade. So as I start coming down that mountain, I find that I have to use my brakes. Well, you don't want to use your brakes too much because they can heat up really fast. So you want to manually shift down to hold yourself back at that level. Well, what my coined phrase of reverse cruise control does here is, is pretty cool. This has a, uh, a, a built-in system so that I'm coming down that mountain and say, I wanna safely stay, stay about, oh, 50 miles an hour. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to enable my tow haul mode. I'm gonna use my brake to slow down to 50 miles an hour. Now, when I take my foot off the brake, this system knows to hold me at that 50 miles an hour. I'm not trying to accelerate to 50, I'm trying to hold back to 50, hence the term reverse cruise control. And it will automatically adjust to stay at that position of 50 miles an hour uh, via the transmission. It's a great system, it's a great system. It's been out a long time. I know a lot of you know that's the case, but for those of you that didn't, good on you, mate. Now you know, tow haul mode is fantastic. All right. Otherwise, everything is pretty standard on here. Um, it does have the remote heated mirrors. It does have fog lights down below. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think we've pretty well covered it. As the Vegas has evolved over the years, they've done some things like insulated this floor deck up here much better. And then they also put in a nice aluminum framework so it's really solid up here. Uh, in the old days, that wasn't necessarily the case. That's all part of the evolution of the Vegas. It's just gotten better and better and better. When I'm sitting at a campground, I've got that slide out. I've got these two seats brought around. Now I've got lots of space inside here. This makes a great living room. So four people can really be in here comfortably. Lots of room to relax and take it easy. And everybody can see the television from where it's at as well. So that's my 2022 Vegas. I, uh, pretty excited about this thing. We don't see these very often. And uh, when we do, they go fast. So I'd like to show this to you personally, firsthand. Please take the time, give me a call, drop me an email, a text would be fine too. I think my number showed up maybe down here, 714-809-4813. Um, I take calls all the time. Uh, not too long ago, I took one at two in the morning. It's okay, I still take care of my customers that way because people rely on me and I like that. So, Bill Hurtado, Transwest Truck Trailer RV. Looking forward to hearing from you. Can't wait to show you the 22 Vegas. Thanks for tuning in.